Congratulations, class of 2023! With all the networking and Zoom events we attended, I'm hoping a fair share of my peers know who I am, but to those of you who have not yet had the pleasure of meeting me, my name is Gabriela Aguilda Rosario. As the Dean mentioned, I'm a proud Puerto Rican from Kissimmee, Florida. Uepa! <laughs> I'm also a daughter, a sister, an aunt, a friend, a peer, and hopefully, like all of us when we pass the bar, an attorney. But for now, we are no longer JD candidates. We are graduates. On behalf of the class of 2023, I'd like to start by thanking several people. To Justice Katanji Brown Jackson for taking the time to be here, celebrating this momentous achievement alongside us, and giving us such wonderful words of wisdom to carry with us, thank you. To Dean Anwachi Willig <laughs> for all your endlessly hard work, institutionally, scholarly, and beyond, thank you. To the faculty and staff for all your support and guidance, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> We are incredibly grateful. To our parents, partners, family, and friends, thank you for all your help, love, and patience. Supporting a loved one through such a demanding experience can be difficult to bear emotionally, mentally, financially. <laughs> so just know we appreciate you immensely, especially you. I love you, Mom. Um, our journey to becoming graduates began in an unexpected and non-traditional manner. Um, as many have put it, we started law school in unprecedented times. I really, I promise I didn't want to say it, <laughs> but it's the truth. <laughs> Instead of being all together at the tower or even in Boston, many of us were spread across the nation and beyond. From California to New York, from Texas up to myself in Michigan, even as far as South Korea. <laughs> Despite the distance and the time zones between us, we managed to come together and create a community, all while surviving 1-0. A huge accomplishment in and of itself. As the renowned poet Pablo Neruda said, podrán cortar todas las flores, pero no podrán detener la primavera. They can cut all the flowers, but they cannot stop the spring. COVID-19, may have cut our flowers, but as we see today, it definitely did not stop our spring. Yeah, you can clap, you can clap, yes! <laughs> Throughout 1-0, we constantly fought against isolation, finding refuge in the small surprises like care packages or impromptu Zoom get-togethers. Thankfully, in 2L, we were able to come together in person, not only in spirit, getting to see smiles instead of masks, realizing how tall, or in some cases, how small some of us were. No one expected me to be this short. <laughs> and finally getting to celebrate milestones and triumphs together. Blurry faces on Zoom became trusted friends, friends who helped a mother, a Guatemalan mother of three secure asylum, friends who met with the Attorney General as a part of nationwide efforts to protect tenants in the eviction crisis, friends who represented indigent clients across the nation. Strangers in an e-board became unstoppable forces that planned the first events on this campus in almost two years, becoming integral parts in reestablishing traditions and cultivating the BU Law community for generations to come. What started as seeds of trust sown during 1L have now blossomed into lifelong friendships. We've attended each other's baby showers and weddings, we've celebrated birthdays together, and supported one another through hardship, loss, and grief. Our flowers were cut, but through our care, compassion, and perseverance, we were able to establish such genuine and lasting connections. My dad, who's no longer with us, always used to tell me, where there's a will, there's a way. And as we sit here today in our doctoral regalia, we prove him right. 
Through our will to become lawyers, we found a way to make it through one of the most rigorous academic pursuits, all while managing to create such strong and beautiful bonds, even with all the obstacles against us. <laughs> After all this hard work we've put in, and the cold Boston winters we've endured, our spring has finally arrived. <laughs> I truly wish there was enough time for me to speak about all we've accomplished and everything we've overcome. But with the little I was given, I hope I've conveyed how uniquely resilient, impressive, and revolutionary our community is. Thank you, class of 2023, for providing me with so many wonderful memories to look back on. I honestly cannot wait to see the amazing things you will achieve, the communities you will uplift, and the change you will seek. I hope you all don't forget to share those achievements with me and each other so we can continue to join in celebrating one another no matter where we may be. Podrán cortar todas las flores, pero no podrán detener la primavera. I'm sure that there will be countless obstacles and challenges that we'll face as attorneys and in any other endeavors we pursue. But just as the ones throughout this journey did not stop us, those will not either. We have proven that while our flowers can be cut, our spring will always come. So thank you, and congratulations again, class of 2023.